Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Thursday, August 15th, 2024. On the Drunk Poker, it's your time. We're at the midway point of uh, my vacation. Four days in, four days to go. The fifth day, that magical middle of the week, the nine-day vacation. Um, I was thinking about today, like, lucky to have it. You know, a lot of people don't have time, can't afford it. It just... It's nice to take a break because it was a year that I had to go around go a whole year in here before I took another break and I probably won't be taking you know extended break for a while again. I only have two weeks vacation. It's starting over. Uh, Miss Pokes like she's up to five weeks next year. Geez, five weeks. It's like that's got significant time off. That's good for her. She's been in her job long enough. Uh, let's have some beer. So went up north to visit our pals at Sod City Brewing the other day. We also made a stop at Muskoka, eh? Muskoka Brewery. We always go to Muskoka and, and, and Sawdust always because. You know, I remember our first trip there back in 2016, and it's just watching them grow, like watching the breweries grow and expand, and, and like the Muskoka, if you ever get up there, they've transformed the outside space and the inside space incredibly. It's a great place to hang out and have a beer. We've got their dry hopped wheat here. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of dry hopping any kind of beer. Uh, wheat beer, 5%, 4.8-ish, 4-ish percent. Uh, it's in the four percents. I believe this in, is inside their summer survival pack, which I did not get because you know, I'm lazy. Uh, but definitely glad to pick that. Picked up a couple of beers and some Mad Toms because why wouldn't I want to have a couple of Mad Toms? One of my favorite IPAs, old school West Coast. Muskoka is a giant, uh, and, and that they're not they're giant inside of the small world of Ontario craft beer in terms of just the sheer amount of offerings they have at the uh, grocery store, at the LCBO, and the corner stores. You know, coming up uh, in a couple weeks. Smells good. Looking for stone fruit. All right. Look, stone fruit. Yeah. Crisp. Citrus. Let's get after it. Let's get into it. Cheers. A nice wheat beer on a sunny Thursday afternoon. Cheers. I like it. That's, see, you know, there's beers that just hit the day right. And a refreshing, light wheat beer that's been dry hopped, and I definitely can feel some of that peachy, lemon, lime, orange, citrus zest in there. Um, very light and refreshing. The body simply, you know, nice carb on it, not over carb, not under carb. Just hitting that, that just that, that nice zone for a light wheat beer. A little bit of light bubble gum. A, little, a touch of spice, not a ton here. This is a very, very meant to be crushable beer. That's what it is. You're getting some fruity, stone fruit, citrus notes, a bit of pithy bitterness at the back with some uh, spicy coriander. And this is basically just Crushville. That's it. It's Crushville. And it's a fantastic Crushville because it's a flavorful Crushville. It's the kind of light beer that, you know, summer meets. You, you kind of you dig having these lighter beers because I drink a lot of big beers. Like, you know, I drink a lot of seven plus percent beers as my normal everyday beer. And perhaps having lighter options would be a better option, but for sure. But uh, I'm not going to change anytime soon. I'm going to have a Mad Tom. But uh, yeah, no, this is good. I like it. If you see it, pick it up. If you're up in Muskoka, pop in and see him in Bracebridge. Like, honestly, it's changed. If you haven't been there in a few years, it's so different now. It's, it's amazing what's happened and the growth in that. But uh, yeah, beer's a beer, baby. Cheers. It's a nice beer. It just, it's going to go down real fast. <laughs> you know, they're going real fast and real left, son. Real fast and real left. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should look that up. 